Diabetes is a major health concern in India. We have a very high prevalence of both type 1 and type 2 diabetes patients in our country. Lifestyle factors, genetic predisposition and a growing urban population is contributing to an increasing incidence of diabetes mellitus as well as its complications. The major organ systems affected by diabetes include the cardiovascular system comprising of the heart and blood vessels, the kidneys, the peripheral nerves and the eyes. Diabetic eye disease is a very common complication of diabetes mellitus and primarily manifests in the form of diabetic retinopathy. Retina is the light sensitive organ in the back of the eye where the images are formed and relate to the brain. Prolonged exposure to very high blood sugar levels damages the blood vessels of the retina, causing irreversible harm. The effect of diabetic retinopathy can manifest in three different types. Non-proliferative diabetic retinopathy is the early stage of the disease. Proliferative diabetic retinopathy is the more advanced stage of the same disease. The third type is maculopathy. This can be associated with both the early type as well as the advanced stage of the disease. In the early stages of the disease, there may be no noticeable symptoms for the patient and the patient may have normal vision. As the disease progresses, symptoms in the form of blurred vision, floaters and eventually loss of vision may develop. Treatment for diabetic retinopathy includes a very tight control of diabetes mellitus along with local therapy in the form of green laser treatment in the eye, multiple injections inside the eye and even complicated retinal surgeries in the late stages of the disease. As we know that in the early stages of the disease there are no symptoms that is why it is extremely important for all diabetic patients to undergo regular and periodic eye examinations along with maintaining a very tight control of diabetes itself. Thank you.